I want to look at the new in-wall corner window functionality in window 15 uh, which has been improved from how it was in version 14 and, and obviously earlier ones. I'll switch to a layer that has some walls on it and this is a uh, just some simple wall geometry here and these walls I will put a uh, some windows in here that have mitered jams and in here I'll put windows that have mitered glass begin by selecting the window tool which is in the building tool set or the building shell tool set in landmark and if I select that then I need to go up and make sure I'm putting in uh, you'll see if I put the cursor on the drawing what looks like a door is going to appear so we need to first of all just select something that is going to be appropriate for corner windows and we could do that by opening the object properties dialog then clicking copy or apply and in here we can copy from window symbols folder and we can click here and we'll scroll down until we get something that resembles what we need which is a fixed glass window so we'll choose that click OK and then OK again and now you'll see that what's under the cursor is something that's more like a window and I'm going to begin by putting one of these uh, in here in all of these positions because this is where we're going to put the window so I'm clicking once on the wall and then clicking outside the wall and okay so we've got the windows in the wall and what I'm going to do is to select all of them now because I want to make a change that will affect all of them so I'm pressing the shift key and clicking on all six windows and I'm just going to turn on the corner options over here and uh, in doing that that will allow us to see a little icon um, that appears when the object is selected indicating which is the left or right side of the unit and this is important because you have to decide which side of the unit is going to get the uh, the mitre um, so beginning with this one here uh, this is the left hand side here so we want to put a mitre on the right so we come down here to mitre position and choose right jam and you'll see that straight away the wall gets the mitre and jumps to the closest end uh, it should actually jump to the correct end but sometimes it doesn't here we'll choose mitre position both jams and you'll see that the uh, window has automatically taken on the length of that wall and adjusted itself in the in the wall and finally this one here we want uh, <clears throat> to put a mitre on the left And you'll see that with that one it actually jumped to the wrong end and that's because uh, this was probably slightly closer to the other end but to fix that you simply need to drag it a bit closer to the other end and it will just automatically jump to that end there. I might just go to the navigation palette here and turn off the WD loci. There we go. Alright, now uh, with these ones again let's select this one and I might zoom in a little bit you can see that the end of this one here is actually indicating left here and right here so I'm going to have to put the uh, the mitre on the right and this time we'll choose right side glass or sash and the the object will change and by the way when I have this like this I can come up here and change the overall width so I change it to 600 which is about two feet and you'll see that the unit will just stick at the corner you don't have to reposition it anymore which is quite useful just panning the drawing a little bit let's then go with this one and in the mitre position we'll choose both sides glass or sash and you can see that it got got this slightly wrong here and we can we can fix this up just by clicking the flip button there we go and that got the flip right and uh, so sometimes you'll have to do that it just depends on the way that you initially inserted it into the wall and finally this one here let's drag it a bit closer to this end of the wall and then it will automatically be able to jump to this end which is the right hand end so let's come here and choose 
right side and the unit then jumped to that side and pretty well that's it um, we can now look at this in a uh, in say a right ISO view and render it and you'll see that we've got our windows that glass is a bit transparent but you'll see here that we've got uh, mitered jams and in the other one we've got mitered glass now just a couple of other little things here once you've got uh, a window in the wall here you can select it in 3D here and if we go to the geometry dialog you'll see that we're able to here under the sash members tab to um, apply a maximum sash width and this allows us to uh, to be precise about how the window will get divided up so if we choose to do this with fixed glass and we set this to say 900 what this means is that there'll be no piece of glass wider than 900 millimeters so it will div automatically divide up the window into whatever you need to maintain that as the maximum sash width so let's go ahead and click OK and you'll see that we got three sashes out of that and if I was to then go and change this to say uh, a uh, an awning hung window then we'll also get awning hung windows um, filling up in there so uh, that's pretty well it it's it's fairly simple and these uh, walls are still walls so they'll behave just like uh, normal walls so I can drag them up and snap them to one another and the objects are just going to stay in place as you would expect with uh, with normal walls